the Lakers were eliminated by the Denver Nuggets in a four-game sweep, 2-3-0 series. Between the NBA and the NHL, what's up with the conference finals? Everybody's either up or down 3-0. No, it's it's been a really bad playoff series so far. Like the Lakers got swept, the the Golden Knights are up 3-0 on the Stars, the Florida Panthers are up 3-0. Like it's just been bad. I think the Celtics series we're going to start to see a little fireworks, but everyone's done pretty much. I hope so. And one player that we don't hope is done is LeBron James because after the Lakers lost it's sort of, I don't know what it felt like to you in the moment, but to me, I, I tweeted it as soon as the game ended. I said, this feels like this might be the last time we ever see the truly great, magnificent LeBron James. He's 38 years old. He's played 20 years. I feel like he can be good. He can give you 20 to 22, six and six for a career, but his the way he closed out that game or the series, 40 points, 10 assists, nine rebounds or nine, nine, re, nine assists, 10 rebounds, said that backwards. I don't think those – I think those days might be a little bit over moving yeah. forward. And LeBron maybe seemed to agree a little bit because at the postgame press conference, he said that he's always said he wants to play with Bronny, but maybe he needs to reevaluate. He's not sure if he's going to be back for next NBA season. Tanner, is it possible that LeBron is actually going to retire? Um, you know, it's funny. Everyone was complaining on Twitter because once LeBron said this, all sports center was talking about was, Oh, the nuggets sweet, but LeBron might be done. Like it's LeBron. Like everyone's just hitting on the, the key word LeBron. Um, and I mean, for good reason, he's, he's earned it, but I look at his like aspirations to play with Bronny. Bronny wasn't even the best high school basketball player on his team. I don't think Bronny's going to be ready to come out as a freshman. I think Bronny's going to need a lot of time to develop in college and I don't think LeBron has that much time left in his body to play basketball at a very high level so draft experts from what I've read are very split on Bronny I think some of them buy into his potential this is the comparison I gave him and I know it's not the sexiest comparison in the world especially for the son of LeBron James but I said I think that he can be maybe a better Gabe Vincent someone who can Handle the ball is going to make smart passes, play tough defense, make some three-point shots when you need him to. But he is somebody who's going to need time to develop, to your point. And he's also not quite as big as even his younger brother, Bryce, obviously not as big as LeBron. Bronny's about 6'2", 6'3". So some draft experts say, look, buy into the potential as a two-way player and a three-point shooter. Great understanding of the game. You know, if you're LeBron's son, then you're going to have a great IQ. Some people are saying that he can be a top 10 pick after as a one and done. And then there are other experts who are saying this is somebody who needs three years in college before they're going to be ready to go to the NBA. Now, I, I'm, I'm just going to assume that part of that variance is because it is LeBron's kid. That's got away in the back of some GM's mind, because if you draft Bronny this is the first year possible, there's a pretty decent chance that you're also going to end up with LeBron. And even if LeBron is some 18, five and five player at that night, 18, five and five is useful. And it's LeBron freaking James. You're going to have more eyes on you than anywhere in the world. Think about during Kobe's retirement tour. So it's very interesting to see what's going to happen with Bronny. Do I personally believe that LeBron is retired at the end of this season? No, I don't. I think what this is, is I think it's a ploy to get the Lakers front office to be more active. Like you were saying with Jalen Brown, with his comments, how that is used by athletes to get what they want in contract negotiations, whatever it might be. I think LeBron, he has another year left on his deal. Kyrie Irving is a free agent. I know LeBron's tight with Paul George, who's obviously in town. The Clippers might be looking to break up that roster, especially since Paul George makes so much money. I think he's sort of encouraging Rob Polinka, saying, hey, I appreciate the moves you made for me at the deadline. You saw what we did. We were one of the jokes of the NBA. You finally made some good trades. And then we were, by record, the best team in the NBA. As soon as that happened, we were a seven seed that made it to the conference finals. And if LeBron didn't have a season-ending foot injury, which he played through, maybe the Lakers could have won it all this year. You never know. So I think it was just LeBron motivating Rob Polinka to be active in the summer. Yeah, I do too. Uh, LeBron's not ready to retire. Obviously, we saw what he did in the fourth quarter, and we said not fourth quarter. We saw what he did for the, the entire game. He was fantastic. Um, but with his son too, I think that comment was also taking a little pressure off his son in the sense of like, you don't have to go to college, play one year, and leave. Like if you're not ready, I don't want you to come out because that's not fair to him, right? If he can play three years and be a, a top ten pick, great. If he's not ready to be a top ten pick after his first year. Like, don't make him come out. So I think that was also another comment made to show his son that, like, hey, like, go be, do you. Like, this is not my career. This is your career. Um, and I think that's pretty commendable. If they can play together, great. But if they can't, 
you know, I think he doesn't want his son coming out early just to maybe get a year with them. Yeah, I think that's actually very insightful. And LeBron has been sort of reflective on how he's been able to parent Bron. He's talked about obviously being in the NBA, can't be at all of his games and stuff, even though you still see him out there on social media a lot. But one, he says one of his biggest regrets is naming him LeBron James Jr. That was his real name. I'm, Bronny was his nickname until he got it changed illegally. And LeBron always says it's one of the biggest mistakes he's ever made, putting that pressure on Bronny. So like you were saying, I think LeBron, I'm sure he would love to play on the same NBA court as his son. But I do think, like you said, it's just a bit of humility, a bit of warning, saying, look, this is your life. Like you said, take your time. Come out when you're ready. If I'm around, then we can play together. If not, you know, I have I have no uh, I have no ill will and I've got no problems. LeBron has things he wants to do. He has Maverick Carter and, and Rich Paul. They're waiting to take over Hollywood or whatever they want to do. They want to host their game shows. They want to start TV shows, whatever it's going to be. LeBron wants to own an NBA franchise. NBA is probably going to get an expansion team in Vegas relatively soon. So he's got stuff coming down the pipeline. Yeah, and he wants to watch his kids. You know, he wants to watch his kids play basketball and you can't blame him for that, right? Um, yeah, so I, I look at Bronny and I think another thing too, Bronny could have went to LeBron and said, hey, like, dad's like, I don't want to play with you. Like, as cool as it would be, like, hey, I want to, I want to create my own legacy. So if I got to spend four years in college, I got to spend four years in college kind of deal. Um, but anyways, Grant, enough Bronny talk there. Can LeBron and AD win a championship together if you add a little talent, if you give them Kyrie and Kyrie doesn't, you know, flame out in the middle of the season? So this is the thing with the new collective bargaining agreement, the tax thresholds are different and I haven't done the full breakdown. I'm going to assume it would be pretty impossible or if it is possible, very damaging for them to sign Kyrie. That being said, I think they need a Kyrie on this team. You, you, you simply can't win with what Anthony Davis is doing on offense. You can't have him give you 40 in game one and then give you 14 the next night and then 34 the next night and then eight the next night it's it's just not tenable with this version of lebron if lebron was the miami heat lebron even if he was the 2018 Cavs lebron maybe you could get away with it you can't do it right now i think you need another scoring guard d'angelo russell was supposed to be there and that's why when everybody was ripping darvin ham for refusing him to take him out of the lineup even though he was playing so bad i was the one saying guys the lakers have no hope of winning the finals if they don't have a scoring guard who they can go to consistently, that was supposed to be D'Lo and it wasn't. So is Kyrie going to be the answer? I don't know. Uh, apparently Rob Palenka wants to keep the young core of guys together. Rui Hachimura, Austin Reeves being the biggest two from that. But I do think you need another big name scoring guard to come in here. And this isn't necessarily a star driven league. There are stars on every team. So now it's come down to what is the supporting cast around them. Even if you bring in a all NBA level guy, I would almost look at them as a supporting cast to this LeBron Anthony Davis core because they prove they can be one of the best teams in basketball. I just don't think they can win an NBA finals with just the two of them. Austin Reeves is on the media guy next year, Grant, for sure. It's LeBron. AD Austin Reeves. Uh, Austin Reeves was awesome in these playoffs, by the way. I he's nice. he he an undrafted guy who was on a two-way deal and they could barely find his way on the floor. Now he's I mean, there were times you would say he was the Lakers' best player in these playoffs. Just to think about that. A second year undrafted guy who's sometimes the best player on a LeBron James team. That doesn't happen. Yeah, he's gonna be like if you go to like a bunch of darties this year on college campuses like he like the austin reeves like jersey will be the most popular jersey out there the austin reeves black lakers jersey is going to be the jersey 